Hello everyone, this is The Eccentrician and welcome to a new 1.4.2 Minecraft world with the Feed the Beast mod pack loaded. Um, so yeah, definitely good stuff. I have a nice little staging area here. I wanted to go ahead and set up some tutorials for you guys, uh, at least to get started with this mod pack. Uh, now, one thing to mention about this particular mod pack, it is in beta right now, and it is incomplete, uh, simply because some of the mods intended for the Feed the Beast map is not updated for 1.4.2, uh, which kind of sucks, uh, and one of those would include my favorite mod out of basically all of them, Red Power 2, which I am eagerly waiting for. Um, uh, but yeah, in the interim, I am going to go ahead and at least get started on this, and I'll show you at least a little bit of, of the basics of uh, getting this mod pack going. So I will be right back when I have everything set up. What you see here is a few materials that I've collected here for the purposes of showing you a unique feature of well, at least one of the mods here in the Feed the Beast pack. Um, this mod being build craft uh, and the unique feature being item movement. Uh, so yeah, basically what we're going to do here is we're going to do some crafting here using some of these materials. and. Um, yeah, definitely good stuff here. So, first of all, what I would like to do um, is go into our crafting table here. Uh, now, our cobblestone. Uh, so, yeah, basically what we're going to do is put two there and one glass to make the cobble t uh, to make the cobblestone transport pipe. Uh, so the cobblestone transport pipe is one of the most basic pipes in Buildcraft, and uh, this will basically enable you to move items between inventories. Uh, so yes, definitely good stuff here. Uh, so you can hook up a cobblestone transport pipe to a chest, to a uh, to a machine, other stuff like that. Awesome stuff. Uh, another th thing here. Uh, the other really basic pipe here is going to be the stone transport pipe. Uh, so yeah, stone transport pipe is basically the same thing as the cobblestone transport pipe. Only difference is these two cannot connect to one another. Good stuff. I will go ahead and demo that to you right now. Okay, so we have our cobblestone transport pipe. We just place that in the world. There we go. And uh, next to each other and they connect to one another. Okay, now we take our stone pipe here, put it right next to our cobblestone. They do not connect, which is very cool. Alrighty. Very good stuff. So, um, that is uh, the very basic pipes for you. Awesome stuff. And you can connect it to, you know, Lots of good stuff. Uh, so if we go over here, uh, we do have a chest over here. Uh, place down a pipe. It will connect to that pipe. Or to the chest, pardon. <laughs> good stuff. Anyway, moving right along. Okay, so that was our basic transport pipes. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to take these wood. I'm going to do the same thing with the glass. I'm going to make a wooden transport pipe. Very good. Uh, now, the wooden transport pipe basically allows you to extract things from an inventory with the aid of an engine, which I will go ahead and uh, demo to you later. Um, so yes, in my next video, I will go ahead and demonstrate the wooden transport pipe and engines for you. Uh, very good. Next, we've got iron. for the iron transport pipe. Okay, so your iron transport pipe basically manages your intersections between uh, your basic transport pipes. I'll go ahead and demo that now. Okay, so what we have here is a basic intersection between some some pipes here with a uh, with an iron transport pipe connected to it. And now you'll notice here that the connections are different here. Uh, so what's happening 
in this instance is uh, these two pipes here are basically acting as input and this one is acting as output. So your clear one here, your intersection there, is uh, basically telling you that anything that is from any other side is going to be output over here. So awesome stuff. Uh, moving right along. Okay, back in our crafting table, we're going to go ahead and make us a gold transport pipe now. So the golden transport pipe will basically speed things up in a pipe network. Uh, so yeah, you place that in the network and any items going through it will be teleported faster. Uh, now if I recall correctly, in this version of, of the mod, uh, you can uh, actually put a redstone signal to the, tel to the teleport pipe, uh, excuse me, transport pipe. <laughs> and uh, the pipe will actually not do the, the speed up thing. You know, on second thought, I am going to uh, go ahead and demo the golden pipe later uh, because it will be better serviceable once we have engines. Uh, so, right, moving right along. So, uh, note to self, golden transport pipe and wooden transport pipe need to be demoed next episode. Next, our... Let's go ahead and make diamond. One thing that I failed... Hello. Oh, these are industrial diamond. <laughs> these are actually deprecated. I need real diamond. Thank you. Okay. Cool. So there is diamond transport pipe. So diamond transport pipe. Go ahead and demo that to you, like, right now. Okay, so this diamond pipe, that's kind of trippy here. Uh, yeah, you'll notice that all of the inputs slash outputs have uh, different colors. So if you right-click on the pipe itself, you have a little interface going here. So you can actually put things in this particular bit. Um, so yeah, there's one color for each side, so definitely s uh, six there. So let's say we wanted to have cobblestone go into the yellow side, at least uh, go in that direction. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just place one cobblestone there. So um, anything in any other side that comes in will go out the yellow side. Awesome stuff. Uh, so yeah, same thing if we wanted, say, wood in the green one. Uh, very good. Uh, another feature of this, you can actually put multiple copies of your items in here. So if you wanted to, say, put uh, three quarters of your stone down the yellow path and a quarter of it in the blue path, uh, just have it in this set up here. So uh, for every four stone that comes through this particular pipe, three will go in the yellow and one will go in the blue. So that is awesome there. Good stuff. Uh, and that basically covers our diamond pipe. Alright, back in the crafting table. Now, say you wanted to move, uh, say, liquids or whatnot. Uh, you certainly can using uh, some cactus green and either your wooden, golden, or uh, let's see what other pipe is there. Wooden, golden, or stone, I believe. Uh, so let's go ahead and double check that in NAI here. Uh, waterproof pipe is going to be wood, cobble, stone, iron, golden, and sandstone. Okay. Uh, very good. Sandstone actually not being a part of the basic uh, basic build craft here. Uh, that's a different mod, but adds different functionality to uh, to this particular setup. Awesome stuff. So definitely good stuff. Let's see what, what we're going to do here is add one pipe, one cactus green, I believe. No? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Okay, so cactus green equals pipe waterproofing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a few more of those. 
very good. And your pipe and your waterproofing equals your waterproof pipe. Awesome stuff. So yeah, I just demoed that with with wooden, but yeah, you can do that with uh, cobblestone, stone, wood, iron, gold, and apparently not diamond, but eh, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Ah, uh, so we can do the same thing with redstone as well. Ah, uh, so let's double check our redstone piping. Um, let's see here. No, that'll be conductive. Conductive piping. Cool. So yeah, wood, stone, or gold. And will be your, your conductive one. So yeah, basically same thing. Just gold pipe, redstone, equals conductive pipe. Cool. So yeah, awesome stuff. Uh, so that's basically pipes in a nutshell. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and look forward to next time when I will be introducing engines and uh, continuing with the piping. So I hope you enjoyed this one and look forward to the next.